Hey, welcome to episode four of Tech Talk with Eric. Uh, today, I want to talk about recertifying your foundational and your associate certifications for free. Uh, and this applies to any of the AWS associates or the foundational, which is the cloud practitioner. I recently passed my solutions architect professional. And when I did that, I mentioned um, on my post that I did this just in time to recertify my solutions architect associate, which would have expired in just a couple of days from that point. I took it on August 14th. And my uh, associate was going to expire on the 17th. This actually got a lot of uh, direct messages from people not quite understanding what I meant by that and asked, was this done automatically or did I go, you know, retake my solutions architect associate as well? And so I thought maybe this is something that's not well known. But did you know that anytime you level up, you automatically recertify uh, for any of your active foundational or associate certifications? And how that works, going to kind of take a look at some examples here. So let's look at how does this work for a foundational cert certification. So let's say you go out and you get your cloud practitioner. And at some point later on, you're probably going to want to get the any of the associates. It's kind of the normal path. You go the foundational, the associate, professionals, and specialties. Kind of go in that particular order. Um, so you go out and you say, I want to pass the solutions architect or the sys administrator or the developer. When you do that, it automatically renews uh, your cloud practitioner as long as it is active. Your expiration date for your cloud practitioner will now be um, upgraded or changed to match that of your latest associate uh, exam that you passed. So literally any one of these, if you go out and you take them, it will automatically um, change the expiration date of your cloud practitioner to the same expiration date of the latest associate that you took. So here's a practical example to see how this kind of flowed. I took my cloud practitioner back in uh, 2019. Those uh, are you know valid for three years. Then in 2020, I got my solutions architect associate. Uh, that's good for again for three years. So from 2020 to 2023. And so what happens is the associate activated date recertifies your cloud practitioner. And, you know, again, you get that extra three years. So now your cloud practitioner is extended out till 2023 or whatever the latest date is that your latest associate uh, exam is set for expiration. So how does this work for associate certifications? Well, we'll start with the solutions architect associate. You need to pass the solutions architect professional. And that will automatically renew your associate and your cloud practitioner. Now, this again is assuming that those two are active and in good standing. Your expiration dates will now match that of your professional exam. So let's take a look at the flow of this. I have my cloud practitioner. I have my SA associate. They're going to expire on August 17th, 2023. And I went out and got my SA Pro on August 14th, 2023. So just in the nick of time, three days before they would have expired. Now, what happens then is because I passed that, the recertification date for my SA professional is pushed into my SA associate, cloud practitioner. And again, that gives us that extra three years. So now they're all set to expire in 2026. Here's an example of what that looks like in the uh, certification portal. Uh, so you can see that I passed my architecture uh, professional on August 14th. The last day to recertify is now in 2020 or 2026. And you can see that it pushed those extensions into my uh, solutions architect associate and also my cloud practitioner. Now that was for a solution associate. So there are two other associate certifications that fall under the DevOps engineer. Uh, when you're going down the, uh, the path of maybe getting your DevOps engineer, I highly recommend doing the developer associate and the sysops administrator first, because those two kind of combined is uh, what the basis of the DevOps engineer professional is all about. Plus, it goes in a little bit more depth. So in this case, yeah, if you pass your uh, DevOps Pro, you're going to automatically renew your sysops, your developer, and your cloud practitioner. So this time you get four certifications for the price of one. And again, assuming they're all in good standing. And now your expiration dates are going to match that of your professional. So just as a quick reminder, um, you know, to level these guys up, you've got your solutions architect professional. It does your solutions architect associate and cloud practitioner and your DevOps engineer professional controls your developer, your system administrator and your cloud practitioner. 
Now, uh, you might be wondering, is this a trick? Is it a gimmick? Is it an accidental or an oops? Uh, no, this is actually supported and documented uh, by AWS. They, they literally say, if you want to, the path for recertification is, feel free to take that exam over. Or if you go up a level, uh, so here for the foundational level, if you get an associate or professional, it automatically renews your cloud practitioner, again, assuming it's active. And then the recertification at the associate level, uh, you have to follow that path and it outlines it here. So you can either you know, take those again, um, or if you take the uh, solutions architect professional, it does the associate. If you do the DevOps, it does the developer and the sysops in addition to your uh, cloud practitioner. Unfortunately, uh, there is no real recertification, automatic recertification for professionals or specialty. You just simply have to retake those exams. Who knows if something will happen in the future where they would have like a higher level and that might do it. But for now, uh, that's just the route you have to take. So hopefully this will help you in your path to certification. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.